Mike Schmitz of ESPN. We're here with Tyrese Proctor, NBA Global Academy. Uh, you've had some games out here in Vegas playing against, you know, different competition. Um, what has been your biggest, you know, takeaway from coming out here and playing against some American guys? Yeah, so um, since being out here, you know, the speed of the game, uh, you know, very different to back home in Australia. Um, and then just coming in with a new group, you know, um, the African kids, so I haven't played with them before. Um, Coach Joe's been really good. So just coming in and getting a you know, new role in the team. I've been watching a lot of film. So I've been watching Chris Paul, Steve Nash, you know, reading reads off on balls. Mm -hmm. And then for me, it was defensively. That's where I was you know, sort of struggling. Mm -hmm. So just talking with Marty and some of the coaches back at Global, you know, just every training trying to get 1% better, you know, whether that's ball pressure, just, just little things, you know, floor positioning, so yeah. For people watching this who maybe never seen you play, how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I think I'm a really good passer. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's come along through through the years I've been playing. Um, but you know, when I need to score, I can score. Pretty versatile on both ends. And I think I, you know I'm good in transition, offensive transition. I can push the ball and find the open guys. What's it been like to watch Giddy's you know evolution and seeing what he's doing in the NBA now? Yeah, it's crazy. It just it just shows how you know how close we are to the mm -hmm. NBA. How like it's possible. So one guy's done it now, so you know, many other guys can do it. So the, you know, the bar's set and it's just whoever knocks it off next. So we're gonna break down some of your film here. We're gonna go through kind of all different aspects of your game um, with most of the tape that, you know, from your recent games out here and then a couple from your game in Salt Lake as well. So uh, I think that, you know, your ability to, to pass the ball, I think is one of your biggest strengths, right? And you seem really comfortable in transition. I think you've found a lot of success out here in these type of situations. You know, what, what are you looking at as you push here and, and what do you ultimately see? Yeah, well, my first read is, can I get on the ring? Can mm -hmm. I score? And then as the, the corners guy man sort of shifts across uh, to the left side of the floor, mm -hmm. I sort of just see the right side wide open. So him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then just easy read. Yeah. Open corner three. Bang. Uh, so I'm curious about this one. What do you see here? And do you feel like you could have made this pass or no? Yeah, so I saw I saw it come in, but everyone draw like drew to him because of how, how hard he ran mm -hmm. to the ring. And then I was just reading um, the weak side help. Mm -hmm. Do you think you had the corner or no? Let's see. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think I did for a split second. I well, went to lob it, but I, I just, yeah, just a silly mistake. But again, still putting pressure on the rim. You know, good things happen when you attack like that. And then this is kind of semi-transition, right? A little rub screen. And just to show like, okay, maybe don't make the corner pass there. And here yeah. you do, right? Yeah. W what are you seeing in the defense? Well, I was reading again, can I get on the ring? So yeah. I try to draw everyone in. I saw this guy, the corner guy come in just a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. So it opened up one of our shooters who can knock it down. Yeah, and then again, like doesn't lead to an assist, but leads to the foul here, you know, pushing with pace and, yeah. and playing that way. So we'll get into all the pick and roll stuff. I think that's where you really come alive. But I think one thing that's really going to help you fit in anywhere is because you can play off the ball too. Yeah. Um, what makes you so, so comfortable, you know, also being effective without the ball in your hands? Yeah, so this, is, this has come up sort of new. Mm -hmm. So at my under 18s tournament, um, I was getting a lot of pressure on me uh, on the ball when I had the ball. So. You know, my coach Reese just just taught me how to play off the ball mm -hmm. and how I could, you know, be effective without the ball, just like, you know, cuts, um, screening to get open. So that, that sort of led me to what I do now. Yeah, and, and it's a lot of different elements, like you said, screening, ball moving, cutting, all that. But I think it starts with your ability to just shoot it off the catch, right? Yeah. Um, have you always been, because out here we've seen you off the dribble, off the catch, great balance, seems like mechanically really good. Have you always been a guy who can shoot it like this? Yeah, yeah. Been pretty solid shooting my whole life. Um, yeah. Worked on it at a really young age and yeah. When you're shooting the ball well, what are some of the things, like when you're in a rhythm, you're going through kind of your mental checklist, what are some of the things you're focusing on? Uh, my legs. So mm -hmm. my, when I get tired, I don't, you know, don't use my legs. I sort of push the ball instead of shoot it. Mm -hmm. And just the confidence thing, you know, when I'm, when I'm streaking it or if, even if I'm not, just don't, don't let that, you know, affect the way that I shoot. And I think a lot of it too is your shot preparation, right? Because here you can see your already hands and feet are ready. You're sliding into open space, right? Yeah. And that allows you to get it off quickly. Um, so I, I think, yeah, your shooting is going to translate right away and allow you to play with a lot of different good players. And again, on the hop. Um, and then so reading these closeouts, right? Yeah. That's kind of the next piece of it. Um, take me through this and, and what you're seeing. Well, I saw my man helping on the on ball. Mm -hmm. And then I always try and attack the high foot. Okay. So it takes them longer to drop. And then if they do recover, that's when I try and snatch back and try and create the separation. 
but I just saw his high foot come up and just decided to just get straight on the ring. Yeah, that's a great read. And not being a guy who just catch, hold, jab, yeah. like you can run through the catch like that and get right downhill, right? Yeah. So then you're saying if he, if he recovers, get, beats you to the spot, you can snatch it back? Yeah, because he'll normally, if his uh, left foot's down, mm -hmm. he'll normally put his right foot across his body. Yep. So then he's always momentum will be pushing him to the basket. So then I can just create separation. Yeah, and, and we've seen that, you know, playing abroad, like your ability to, you know, create space off the dribble. Maybe you haven't seen as many step backs yeah. out here, but has that become a big part of your arsenal? Yeah, yeah, from an early age as well. Yeah. Um, it's like sort of my, it was my go-to move um, back in all my junior career just to create separation because I haven't always been the strongest. So just, you know, my footwork and the ability to create space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's a, a huge part of your game. And so getting downhill there. And then here, I think like this is the style teams want to play, right? Multiple paint attacks, drive, kick, swing, yeah. re-space. Um, I mean, is that the style you grew up playing? Yeah, especially at Global now, you mm -hmm. know, just like a four out, one in, just motion type where you just drive, kick, just relocate and just read the defense. What are you looking at here? So a little up fake. Yeah. So I look to attack and then I see Kingsley posting up and yep. he had a mismatch. So I tried, I tried to look him off sort of, and then everyone just collapsed and just a kick out for our shooter. Yeah, so your ball screen reads, right? Your ability to, you know, pick apart weak side defenses to, to score the ball. I, I think that's where you're very advanced. So you said you've been studying Chris Paul. Yeah. What do you like about his, you know, pick and roll game in particular? Yeah, just he, you know, he's so slow with mm -hmm. the ball and he just takes his time coming off uh, on balls and then his reads are really quick. So he might like, you know, look slow, um, like physically, but mentally he's really quick and switched on just, you know, with the defense and, how they guarding him. Yeah, I think you're really good with, with your setups too. You yeah. know, like you see a lot of young guards who are just sped up and just yeah. try to go, go, go right when they get off the catch. Uh, how have you learned stuff like that? Like, cause here what you see, you're gonna dribble down here to make sure he runs into the screen. Yeah, so back at Global, I watched a lot of film on my trainings mm -hmm. and that's a big thing, you know, when coming off on balls, the setup first mm -hmm. and then how you attack the, um, this ball screen D. Did you notice, I think it was this game, they were going under a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. So what, what, what are the best ways to combat that, like when they go under? Um, normally, so me and Josh play at Global, so I yep. thought he was gonna retwist it. Yep. So that's why I sort of, but I probably should have, you know, I had the shot, I think, early. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then just could have kicked it on and just kept it moving. Yeah, I, that's a great point first, like, okay, if they go under, you can just flip it right away, right? Yeah. And then they're usually gonna go over it, especially yeah. if the screen's set lower. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think you're right. You know, I think this is gonna be a huge part of your game at the next level. If teams go under, just instant read, boom. You have it from that range? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've been working on it, so yeah. Yeah, no question. And, and we saw it in your game yesterday. I think this is a perfect example right here. So, you remember this play? Yeah, yeah. Take me through this one. So I saw my guy go under straight away because I set him up with the in and out. Mm -hmm. Because I saw the no one was on the help side, right. so he was sort of watching his man in the corner. So I looked to attack the ring, but then as soon as he went under, just in rhythm and shot it. Yeah, I mean, great rhythm, great balance, perfect touch. I mean, that's what it looks like, right? Yeah, yeah. So then if you're making that shot, then what do they have to do? They have to go over. Right. Yeah. And so what do you, as you come off here, you know, we'll, we'll look through a handful of these possessions when they go over, but what are your options right as you, he gets clipped? Yeah. At this point, what are you looking at? Well, I'm looking at, so the ball screen defender, but mainly the weak side. Yeah. So because there's a guy on the right side, I'm sort of looking for the throwback throw in for the big. Mm -hmm. And then if, if that's not open, just look to attack, attack the um, pick and roll defender. Right, the big who's retreating, right? Yeah, yeah. And what do you do in this situation? Well, he's, he's bigger than me, so I try to use the up fake to get him closed out a little bit and then just stepped around him. Yeah, and, and great patience too. You know, like you guys obviously have two bigs kind of in the same space, so there's not a lot of room to yeah. you know, throw lobs or even that throwback. But um, so here again, this is yesterday, you're coming off. When you're going left, what are you looking at here? So I saw the, there was a one side in the corner. Yeah. So that's where I'm trying to attack. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm just looking at the weak side of my defender. So I, I saw in the back of my head, you know, he got detached from mm -hmm. the screen. So I just chucked like, you know, a little up fake, hope, hoping that he'd bite at it, which he did, and then just, just shot it. Yeah, it doesn't fall, but you know, you get a good look at it. How much have you studied too? Like a lot of the guards will kind of put you in jail, yeah. keep you on your back. How much have you looked at that type of stuff? Yeah, show? a lot. That's why you know, I've been watching film with a lot of my coaches on, yeah. you know, um, a lot of NBA players do it these days. So just playing slow off the on ball is a really big part of my game that I've been, you know, trying to improve. Yeah, no question. Um, and I think, you know, you've proven 
that you can get to your spots. You had a couple nice pocket passes too that I think the camera missed, but that's okay. And so we know we, you have that in your game. And then here, getting downhill to your left again, take me through your options in this one. What are you yeah. looking at? So, Similar situation. Yeah, so he went over mm -hmm. and he was a little slow to get back. So now it's just a two-on-one game with um, me and my big. Mm -hmm. And I think he got a touch to it. Yep. I think I could have, you know, could have held it a little bit tighter and then just tried to find the release pass. Yeah, but you still get the offensive rebound, right? Do you think maybe, let's see, maybe you have a lob if he really dives yeah. hard, right? Yeah, because, you know, the corner guy wasn't really helping in. Yep. And then if he helps in, then what do you have? The throwback. Yeah, easy. Mm -hmm. Kind of a simple formula, right? Yeah, yeah. But again, doing all these little things, you know, being a rebounder, um, being active, all that. All right, so what, what do you got here? So this is like a little double drag? Yeah. I came off and I saw my guy, I think they switched the first. No, he went over. Yeah. And then he got separated. So I was waiting. I was trying to be a little bit patient, but I didn't realize he popped. So then I just tried to, you know, create for myself. Yeah, for sure. Do you feel like you could snake that back? Yeah. Have you looked at that stuff yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Maybe you can snake it back. Or if this is a true, like, pick and pop big, you could snake it, pitch, yeah. right? Yeah. The one thing I, I was impressed with too is, like, your understanding of how to play off of those pitches. Yeah. Like, you don't really see 17-year-old guards, you know, understanding that. Yeah. It's been a big thing, you know, global. Yeah. If, you know, have, you have pressure, just throw it and go get it straight away. Create the, you know, separation off the defense. Put them on the back foot and then just attack it. Yeah. It's an efficient way to kind of get off the ball and then, you know, get yourself to the rim with momentum, right? Yeah. All right, here again, high ball screen. So these are some of the kind of your next level reads that I was really impressed with. So we know you can make the pocket pass. Yeah. And then these kind of one-handed hook passes. Take me through this one. Yeah, so I'm sort of watching, so the, you know, the pick and roll D. And then as soon as I see my guy lift, I, looked, I saw his defender drop because mm -hmm. he was focused on Kingsley because they yep. switched. And then, you know, the free shooter is wide open. Yeah, perfect. So they switch. And because he's underneath him, yeah. right, he's a threat as a roller, yeah. he helps, easy hit. So I think nine times out of ten, too, on a space floor with shooting, that's going to be an assist, right? Yeah. And then this one, too, I was, I was really impressed with. So what are you seeing in the defense here? Like, what coverage are they in that you see, and what leads you to make this pass? Yeah, so when, once Joshua set that punch screen, mm -hmm. I was sort of reading because they, they were switching in the game. Yeah. So I was reading the weak side, and Kingsley – you know, ran to the ring, and mm -hmm. I saw the hands of the, the shooter, Victor, in the corner. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want to, you know, directly stare at him. So I looked at the top to try and, you know, create the separation for the shooter and then just fired it to him. And is it the, it's a no look? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, yeah. Is, is that a big part of your game? Uh, no, I'm trying to get, you know, better at it. Yeah. But yeah. Just kind of manipulating the defense with your eyes, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you clearly already very, very advanced, you know, in those situations. All right, then, so going to your left. Yeah. Are you as comfortable with the left? Is this something you're still working on? Yeah, I'm still working on it. You know, it's not, not as comfortable as my right. I normally throw two-handed uh -huh. um, overhead passes, but you know, definitely something I need to work on. So you think if, if you had this lefty? I definitely, yeah, yeah. Catches it cleanly, yeah, right? Yeah. So here again, high ball screen, coming off. All right, so this is more side pick and roll, right? Yeah. W what are you seeing on this one? Well, like, what was, are your options, I guess? So I started a little higher. He came up really fast. I wanted to get down the floor a little bit mm -hmm. to try and um, create that separation. And I was just playing slow out of it. Yeah, no, it's good. And then you eventually make this this pass, right? This cross-court yeah. read. Um, and you'll be playing at, at a lot of these, you know, step-ups and stuff like that yeah. at, at higher levels. Maybe could snake it again, yeah. right? Or just get downhill. Um, but, yeah, you have great pace, great rhythm to your game. And then if teams switch, then you can kind of go get one too, right? Yeah, yeah. What, what are some of your go-tos, you know, when you have a big on, on an island? Yeah, well, definitely, you know, the jab crossover mm -hmm. that Ja Morant does and stuff. Just yeah. to get on the ring quick or just hezzy or step back three or some, some to just, you know, get them moving a little bit. Yeah, here, impressive with the left hand, kind of that hezzy hang dribble three, right? Yeah. What, what are you seeing in his defense that – you know, leads you to go to that. He was sort of, you know, on his toes. Yeah. Sort of unsure of what, what he, what he wanted to do. Yeah. And then sort of just try to get him off balance and rise up and shoot it. Yeah. I mean, that one with the left, this one with the right. D does it matter which hand you're rising uh, up with? No, not really. I, I'm sort of comfortable with both rising up and shooting it. Yeah. All right, another switch here. So I tried to attack middle. Yeah. And then they, the help came in. So I probably could have kicked it out early. But then I just tried to, you know, spin and create some, some space for our shooters who got on the ring. 
Yeah, no, it's great. And again, you're going to have a lot more space, yeah. you know, as, as the levels continue to rise. Um, but simple play, simple kick out, you know, that, that leads to good offense. All right, and then finishing, how would you rate yourself as a finisher? Uh, it's been a big, big step. So I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't a, a very good finisher. So that's what, you know, the coaches back at Global really pushed, pushed me on this past year. It's been a big focus of mine. Um, but, you know, just working on it, you know, nearly every day, I think it's gotten a lot better than what it used to. Yeah, no question. And we'll see some of the good and, and maybe the areas for improvement, right? Yeah. So you remember this one? Yeah, yeah. Anything you would have done differently there or just? Probably would have taken one more dribble just to get yeah. a little bit closer to the to the basket to really get it up on the backboard. Yeah, and, and just be aggressive, right? Yeah. I mean, you could maybe even go punch this. Yeah. One more dribble. But you've shown the ability off of either foot. Um, I think you had one yesterday too. Like, really crafty. That's a tough finish. What do you take me through this one? Well, I was going to originally go up with the left, yep. but I saw him coming over quick. So I just tried to snatch it back really quick and then just go finish with my right. Is that something you've added? Kind of the same foot, yeah, same yeah, hand stuff? Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of different finishes that we've been working on back home, yeah. And then the last one here. So this is kind of an isolation situation. Just a jab right. Anything you would have done differently there? Probably no? played off two. Okay. I think, you know, getting in the air is not, not really what I wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, once I'm in the air, the only other option is to pass it and maybe it's a turnover. So just playing off two and playing, playing slow and patient. Yeah. And you have these little runners too, though, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a part of your game? Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the touch and, you know, the footwork has, has always been there. But what I love about you is, is your defense, so like w at least – the growth that you've made because yeah. you said that was not always yeah, the case no not not really i, I wasn't that, that good of a defender um but going into the academy you know they've really pushed me as a defender um showing how defense can lead to offense sort of thing so yeah it's been a really big, big push for me did you have to kind of flip a switch mentally or what was the difference aside from just that like internally yeah no it was a big big switch that you know i, I didn't really think you know it was that important in basketball early on but then going through you know my juniors my senior career it's been a you know huge change in the game. You know, guys, you know, turning defense into offense, like I said, and you know, just just really taking pride in the defense. Yeah, well, you definitely have shown that you know in glimpses out here. So, all right, you missed the free throw. Yeah. And you kind of just blow up their entire offense here just with your ball pressure, right? Yeah. I was pretty pretty you know upset. I missed the free yeah. throw, so I try to get another one back. And then just that early pickup point. Yeah. And then if you you can see where they start their offense, I mean, this you know takes them out of their flow completely, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then your ability to get over screens too. You know, I was impressed with that. What, what's the key, like in terms of technique, in, yeah. especially in this situation? So they're hard hedging. Yeah. So I try not to get you know detached as much and mm -hmm. just stay on his hip and ride him through it. But that's been a big push for me. You know, back at Global, playing with a lot stronger guys that you know bump me off their screens and stuff. So I've been working on that a lot with the coaches back home. All right, and then so here, there, you know, getting into the ball, getting over, um, and then you know having active hands too. I think always using that that hand to take away throwbacks or yeah. pocket passes is, is key, right? Yeah. Um, and then what about this one? So here he tries to reject? Yeah. What do you see here? I just tried to cut him off. Yeah. Because I didn't want to, you know, my main goal was to force him to the screen. Yeah. And then he did that little spin, so I just tried to climb up, climb up into him and just, you know, put a hand up for him. Yeah, no, that's great. I think that's showing you can be physical and you can kind of gap and, and keep the ball in front, right? Yeah. Um, and then here again, just some of the little things, you know, when they try to attack the rim in transition, you know, being there. So what, what are you seeing here? Good player. Yeah, getting so downhill. he was coming, yeah, going downhill pretty quick. I think I should have just walled up a bit, bit later. Mm -hmm. I think I walled up too early and then he just sort of got into my body and made me come down a little bit. Have you worked on, because we've seen some of the verticality stuff from yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. That's also back in global. Yeah. You know, just been working on it. Um, just try not to foul, mm -hmm. but just, you know, containing with both hands, just jumping straight up and down. And then you were guarding shooters as well. I think there's Josiah Sellers. He's a really good shooter going yeah. to USC. What do you see on this one? Yeah, so my main focus in this game was, you know, just don't worry about the ball. Just yep. stay, stay attached to him. Mm -hmm. So I did get clipped on it, but I just tried to fight straight back to him and just get a hand up. Yeah, and I think the best way too is like stay attached to the outside hip, right? Yeah. yeah. And then just chase. Um, but they get you clipped, but still get a late hand. But if that's Steph Curry, yes. you might be on the bench, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think you did a really good job all game, kind of staying attached, you know, not, in, not allowing any easy catches. Like even this, you know, you're, you're right there, right? Yeah. 
So we saw the kind of the offensive or the, the on ball stuff. We saw chasing the shooters. You know, I think your instincts are really good too, your anticipation. Um, so, I mean, this is a tough situation to be in, right? What is it, yeah. four on one? Yeah. W what's going through your head here? So I just tried to play in the middle and just stunt because I saw my man running back. So mm -hmm. as soon as I saw him on my right, I sort of just tried to go to the left a bit more because mm -hmm. I saw him coming. I didn't think the defense, the guy with the ball saw him. So I just tried to, you know, anticipate the pass and, yeah, got a deflection on it. And you're kind of playing mind games with him right yeah, now, right? Yeah, yeah, just trying to put him in two minds, yeah. Yeah, that's that's perfect. And a, a big play at a big point in the game too, right? Yeah, yeah. Length of the floor, finish. I mean, that's that's big time just to show kind of, you know, your, your basketball IQ. And then high pick and roll. So you're off the ball here in the corner. What's your role in this situation? Yeah, so I should have been a little bit off you okay. Know, on the under the basket, just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But just moving when the ball moves, just trying to you know create create the advantage for us. Yeah. Just you know uh, not let the defense just pick us apart. So is this a full rotate or a stunt? I yeah. think well, no one was coming, so I just tried to stunt a yep. little bit uh -huh. and then just get back to mine. But I got a tip to it, so and then the, you know the switch came. Yeah. No, this is great and being active, having your head on a swivel like that. You know, understanding that your big is kind of slow getting back, right? Yeah. Um, so you can either stun or get back, or you can full rotate. Um, great stuff there. And then, you know, having the understanding of where to be off the ball, too. So wh where should you be here? I, I should be a little bit further yeah. over, yeah. yeah. But you're creeping over. You see your man in the ball, and then kind of the verticality, right? Yeah. And then you should have someone shooting out at this. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think nine times out of ten, you're in the right spot, right? Yeah. And then here, another one. So in these closeout situations... So, yeah, take me through this one. Yeah, so I saw it get skipped over pretty yeah. early. And then I didn't want him to go middle because yeah. that's a really big emphasis, you know, no middle and stuff. So try to close out with the left hand, forcing base, but you got to shut up over. Yeah, no, that's the no middle closeouts. That's huge. And you're going to see a lot of that, you know, at the highest levels also. Um, but I think you have, you know, good technique more often than not in those closeout situations. And then here, so when you're one pass away, right? Yeah. Is this personnel based? No, I should have been on the nail a bit more. Okay. I think I closed out too well. I thought he was going to pass it. So yeah. I tried to shoot the lane, but should have just, you know, stand on the nail. But a lot of times, you know, as a, at a higher levels, right? So this will be, you know, that'll be a lot of your scouting report stuff, yeah. right? If yeah. you're guarding Clay Thompson, you know, maybe you don't give any help. If yeah, you're yeah. guarding an okay shooter, maybe you dig and get back, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think... You know, you, you definitely have the, the feel for the game and the IQ to pick all that stuff up. And then, you know, you end up getting the steal and the finish. Yeah, and then lastly, too, just I, I mentioned it earlier, but, you know, I, I was really impressed with just how vocal you are and, and, and how, like, your leadership. Um, what are you telling your teammate here? Uh, just, you know, next play, like, if, if the reads are open, just look, look elsewhere. Yep. Um, but, you know, just stay positive and just, just get, it, get it right the next time. Yeah, you seem like a guy that, you know, people rally around and yeah. you're able to, you know, kind of – bring people together. Um, is that is that a family trait? Is that just how you've always been? Yeah, you know, my dad's had a big emphasis on that on me. Um, just making sure everyone's on the same page when I'm on the floor. Uh, you don't want to, you know, four guys and then the one guy's left out, you know, not, not knowing what to do. So yeah, definitely my dad's had an impact on that. And then just, just wherever I've gone, sort of, you know, try to be the main vocal guy, you know, leading on the floor, off the floor. So yeah. And what are the next, you know, steps for you as you look at your development, you know, your decisions? I know you have a lot of college interests yeah. in different schools, you know, re recruiting you. I guess what's what's the plan these next couple of years? Yeah, so right now I'm just staying with the academy. So for next year, just traveling and playing. And then um, I'd, I'll probably decide what I'm going to do end of next year. So whatever, whatever that may be, um, yeah, have my decision then. And then lastly, what type of player will Tyrese Proctor be in five years? He's gonna be he's gonna to be tough, you know. Defense, offense, good leader, um, just run running the team, running the floor. So yeah. Great. Well Tyrese, I appreciate you taking the time in and best of luck. Thank you, appreciate it.